Imagine taking a beautiful vintage tablecloth like this one that I got from my mom and turning it into a cute little apron. Hi, I'm Callan Duke and this is another how-to video. Today I'm joined by my friend Liz who's a food blogger and she's going to be making the apron with me. Hi Liz. Hello Callan. And you know I'm really excited to be here because well for several reasons. I love to cook so I love wearing aprons. But I've not sewn since, I want to say, the seventh grade. It could be the fourth grade. I don't even remember. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to learning how to make an apron. And you know what? If I can do it, you can do it. One great advantage to using upcycled material is you can take advantage of unique features. Here, Liz and I are trying to decide how to use the thick white border of the tablecloth and the white stylistic curly cues. The first step in making your apron is cutting the front piece. You'll find many suggestions for front panel dimensions online, but here's what Liz and I did. For the length, we held up the tablecloth to where she wanted it to hit when it was finished, and we cut accordingly. For the width, we knew we wanted a moderate amount of gathering, so we wrapped the fabric around Liz and cut it so the ends overlapped by a few inches. Next, you're going to want to finish off all raw edges except for the one at the top, which will be hidden in the waistband. Fold over each raw edge a half an inch, press it, fold it over on itself another half an inch, press again. Because we used the edge of the tablecloth for the bottom of the apron, we only have the sides to hem. Pin the edges where you've pressed, and sew using a straight stitch. To gather the front of the apron, you simply make folds in the fabric and pin the folds in place. Bigger folds will mean fewer, deeper pleats, and smaller folds mean shallow pleats, but more of them. Before sewing the pleats in place, play with size and number until you get the look that you want. Sew through the pleats with about a half an inch seam allowance, taking great care to make sure the pleats are still folded in the correct direction as you go. Cut a 54 inch by 5 inch piece. This will be the waistband of the apron and the ties. If you can't get the length all in one go, stitch together several pieces of fabric until you get the right length. Next, we're going to do some serious ironing. Fold the waistband piece in half lengthwise and press down the middle. Open it up and press a half an inch on all sides, like Liz is doing here. When you're done ironing and you open up the waistband piece up, you should have something that looks like this. Take a minute to notice which folds I'm calling A, B, and C as they correspond to the front or the back of the waistband. Next, pin the waistband to the apron front with right sides together. Pin so that line A is 2 inches from the top of the apron front. Before sewing, make sure that when you turn the waistband with the right side out, fold B is at the top of the apron front. Once you've made the proper adjustments, sew through fold A on apron front. Next, turn the waistband to right side out and pin the long piece of fabric that will make up the ties and the waistband of the fabric to itself, making sure to keep the ironed edges folded. At apron front, pin the waistband to the wrong side of the fabric, catching the seam allowances from where you just sewed. Prepare to sew with the apron right side up. Now you're going to sew through that big long piece that makes up the ties and the waistband of the apron from beginning to end with about a half an inch of seam allowance. Sew the ends of the ties down when you're done and voila, you have an apron. Can you believe how adorable this is? You know what my favorite part is? This cute little band. We took a tablecloth and we repurposed it. We upcycled it. And I have 
the cutest apron. I feel very vintage, very retro, and I'm so excited because I learned how to sew again today, and it all came flooding back to me. So thank you, Callan. So it's a little later and a little darker. The mosquitoes are coming out, <laughs> but we did it. Uh, we took a tablecloth and turned it into the cutest apron. Didn't Liz do a fabulous job? Especially for not having sewn for so long. You really I did well. I learned a lot. I'm empowered. I'm going to do this again. Awesome. Thank you for joining us and hopefully you got inspired to make your own apron out of a tablecloth or a sheet or whatever you have lying around. And as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and be good to the planet.